Hello, welcome to Fire Power Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to look at the access control policy. The access control policy is the prime pillar of the Fire Power when you deploy it either as a next gen IPS or next gen firewall. You need to have an access control policy on the device which inspects the traffic and takes a policy decision based on your configuration. This access control policy has various components. In this series video, I'm, we are going to look at each of these components and look at how these components is going to impact your policy and how do you define policy on each of these components. Here is the abstract version of access control policy which you see it in Firepower Management Center. We have various components right from pre-filter policy, security intelligent, DNS, SSL policy, identity and a user defined access rules and at last we have a default action which is for access control policy. When a traffic comes, it passes through pre-filter policy, security intelligent, DNS uh, policy, SSL and identity before passing through the user defined access rules um, let's see in the upcoming slides i'm going to, uh, upcoming videos i'm going to uh, talk about each of the components let's such as pre-filter policy security intelligence dns um, but in this video on the high level how it works um, here this rule one rule two or rule three are are the one which has been defined by user um, uh, access rules uh, with various parameters right from network, um, IP address, zones, TCP, user identity app, application, URL filtering, file inspection, um, all the things are defined on access rules. Whereas on the pre-filter policy, uh, you can have multiple pre-filter rules which are being defined in the pre-filter policy. Uh, which has its own unique name which should be referred to access control policy similarly on the dns you can have multiple dns rules of, or policies which will have its own unique name which will be cross referred to in the access control policy similarly on ssl decryption and identity let's uh, go and cross refer this on firepower management center and then see how it plays you can find the access control policies under policy access control. You can have multiple access control policy but only one access control policy can be uh, attached or targeted to a device. So once you go into the access control policy, uh, you can uh, find the pre-filter policy here and then SSL policy and identity policy which we a pre-filter policy security intelligence dns ssl and identity which you can see it here security intelligence is here uh, dns policies here and then a pre-filter ssl and identity so each of these rules except security intelligence that is pre-filter ssl and identity and dns um, will pick up policies from from here so here you can for example you can go to pre-filter policy and have various different pre-filter policy but each pre-filter policy will have its own pre-filter rules example this a test um, has can have multiple uh, pre-filter rules uh, these pre-filter policies are is been referred as test iPhone pre-filter rules that can be associated to access control policy coming back to access control policy uh, you can cross associate by here so whatever the pre-filter rules that you have will be listed here you can uh, pick which which suits this pre uh, access control policy similarly on the um, SSL you can uh, click SSL policy and then uh, whatever the policy that you had defined on pre SSL rules will be displayed here. You can pick um, 
that you had defined for this access control policy similarly on identity policy and uh, same thing applies for dns um, policy whatever the dns policy that you define on uh, under dns um, policy will list out here and then you can pick one which suits this policy the security intelligence does not have um, anything of its own so each access control policy will have a standard uh, rule which is up which is same across um, all the access control policy within this fmc you can uh, fine-tune under access control policy so apart from the pre filter yes uh, security intelligence dns ssl and identity you have um, user defined rules that you can see it here but you can create by add click add and uh, you have various parameters right from zone network uh, vlan user that is identity application based on this you can identify a traffic and then have an action uh, the action can be either add, allow trust monitor block or block with resets and apart from that you can um, enable inspection on top of the allowed traffic those inspection can be your identity policy um, intrusion policy file policy and variable sets and if none of this if a uh, packet passes through security intelligence pre-filter ssl and identity and does not match any of the user defined access rules it will uh, at last uh, get matched under the default action and then whatever you had defined here will get matched in this example uh, the default action is block all traffic which means that if in a packet does not match any of this user defined rules it get dropped uh, you can set any other policy like trust all the traffic which means that if it does not match any of this the traffic would continue to flow um, uh, out on the egress interface uh, considering that it is a trusted or simply do a use those packet for net network discovery or um, uh, uh, use uh, subject the traffic under uh, intrusion prevention by um, intrusion policy ips policies with this we have come to the end of this video in the next video we'll look at each of the uh, components such as pre-filter policy security intelligence in the next videos thank you see you soon in the next video